Okay, this is a demo of the Connect interacting with a Flash Movie that further interacts with an Arduino and it's multiple buttons that toggle LEDs on and off based on the gestures from the Connect. Here's my code in for the Arduino. Reinitialize LED pin 1 as being pin 8, digital pin 8 on the Arduino. And that's done between 8 and 13, calling those variables. And then we call those as outputs. And then we initialize a variable called incoming as 0. And then if there's any serial avail data available with a value, then incoming becomes what's being read. And then if it's equal to 1, it initiates the first pin, which would be pin 8 for the first LED. <laughs> and then if the LED pin 1 is not high, then make it high, or else turn it off, which is low. And then we've got the same again for the second, for LED pin 2. That doubles. Same with 3, 4, 5, and 6. And if I show you the board, I have pins 8 to 13 connected to 6 LEDs with resistors fitted. And if I upload that's done. So now I need to start the Sir Proxy program in order for Flash to be able to communicate with uh, the Arduino. Opens up that serial port that I've already configured, and we've got waiting for clients response. So it's already configured and waiting. And then the next one is the Node.js serial proxy program which we have to write the command node.js in the bin folder and then the node application calls in the connect to flash configuration file and we've got a server running notification that's waiting on standby. So now I've got the Visual Studio, the Connect program. <coughs> this goes through the all the libraries and the reference assemblies that it's using. It starts a socket. sets the socket, sets the camera, visual display information. If the socket's connected, it's going to send um, a stream, an array through a stream with a binary writer. So we've got the incoming data and that's been transferred to the 20 joints of the skeleton and the X, Y and Z axes and that gets sent this one sets the Visual Studio console uh, skeleton that 
out of the square in the centre and find in the centre of the of the stage. So if I run this let's get rid of that. This has now gone to connection established, so there's a connection between the connect and flash. And if I right. So if I move on to the flash program. six buttons here for instances of a button object I've got some symbols down here for the skeleton joint I've got hands and a and a head inside the button which is actually a movie pretending to be a button I've got my name frames my frame naming sorry up over and down and I've got um, an animation that's a, a masked animation in the over state which is for hovering and then in the main action scripting we're setting up the libraries, setting up the co first connection to the connect on port 9001 on the local host. We're using little endian in order for the the information to be received in the right order that it was sent. A listener when it's on when it's connected and then when there's data coming in. And then we set up socket two for the Arduino on three on five three 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 again on the local host this one's called socket two and when it's connected we get the message so when data is received from the connect we set a variable of the right hand joint x which reads the first information coming from the connect from socket 1 and that's then kind of converted to the movie clip of the right hand being the x axis the position on the on the stage and that's done again for the y and the z axis and then we've got the left hand head wrists, elbows, shoulders, spine, hip, knee, ankle and foot and then once that's looped through we do a weight check to see if the uh, status is okay to check for the, the buttons And then if it is, we check to see if the right hand movie overlaps this instance of the button, button 1. If it is, it plays a movie with inside the button movie over, goes to that frame. A timer starts, and then we get a text not notification. And when the timer, if the timer equals two, which should be two seconds, we put the status to wait to one. We register the hit button. The movie inside the button goes to the down frame. We stop the move, stop the timer, and then we write an integer 
of 1 through socket 2 and then we flush and then the same then for the second button that was under 2 the third the fourth the fifth the sixth else it would just reset all the buttons, reset the, stop the timer and reset it and clear the message box. Um, once we've got a hit we can then keep the wait state status for a further second which makes the hovering and the hit register far smoother and allows for that to be looped without being too temperamental and then we reset the status the wait status to zero so if I run this we've got a notification connected to connect with Node.js and we've got connected to Arduino by the server proxy just move this uh, and we should have got another connection established there Right, so if I show you the Arduino, I just need to So if I hover over the first button, it will wait for two seconds and register a hit, come on. And if I hover again, it will go off. And if I keep my hand on it, it will keep looping. And if I do the same to the second one, turn any of them off or on again. <laughs> 